Hello, Technology Crazy, and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to make your own website for free uh, with an incredible software called Adobe Dreamweaver. Um, so, first, to get it, you want to go in the link in my description, or if you prefer, www.adobe.com, and you want to go under Products and Dreamweaver. Now, once you've done that, this will pop up. Uh, it's worth $300, $400, actually, if you want to buy it. Um, but if you are just like, I'm, I'm 13. So if you're 13 and you, it's hard to come across $400, um, you d you want to try it. So try it for 30 days. So click try. And once you're done that, um, create an Adobe account. Um, I've already done that. And I'm not going to go through how to download it or anything. All you have to do is fill in, sign in, and install it. Uh, you'll install two files. Uh, they're going to be zipped. So I'll just click this is what will show up uh, or you can click launch you'll have a little launch button or you can do it manually in WinVar um, so set up and you can actually just set up a program through that now while it's downloading you want to go to the other link in my description um, and it's free at CSS templates dot org uh, and it will allow you to like download templates and there are lots and lots and lots of templates um, as, yeah, see, there's uh, 60 pages and beyond pages of templates, um, all customly made. Uh, um, well, not custom, they're default, but they're all made by hand, I believe. So, if you really, if you don't want to take like seven weeks making a website, this is really easy. So, for example, let's just do this. Um, off limits. Download the zip. I already did that. Um, and what you want to do is extract it to your desktop. Now, once you're done that and you're done installing, you want to open up Adobe Dreamweaver. Um, so this is not what it'll look like. It will probably it'll have a blank screen and some blah 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 like instructions of how to use it. All you have to do is file open, and you want to open that um, that off limits folder. So index. I've already opened it up here. If instead, if you have this little bar here, it might be over there. If it's over there, you can always just drag it around to customize. But I want it over here. So, um, right here. So you can just open up off limits and index. Now, you'll see that this is uh, the off limits website right here. But let's say you want to type in your own thing. Or um, instead of this, let's get rid of this. And off limits, let's turn, change this to. Um, uh, I don't know. Let, let's just keep it like that. Okay, so um, that's basically how you make your website. Now, one of the things that really helped me is how to make separate pages and how to link pages together. I didn't learn this very easily. Um, it wasn't in the right tutorial that I was watching, so this is going to be an all-in-one tutorial. So, once you're done that um, and you want to make another page, let's go save as. And you want to save it as what you want. So file name let's products and make sure you save it as a html dot html very very important um, so html if you don't know what that is totally okay you don't even have to worry about it just save it as that and I would want to overwrite because I already have one now if you see the difference in the index and the product is this little one's not gone and let's just change product to high you can make it whatever you want um, so once you're done that you'll notice that um, there are two different HTMLs but how do you link them together so up here there's a little products products bar if you want your own theme you can make it like that or you can just highlight whatever you want to link and so first your um, bar will look like this properties so at the very very bottom you probably can't see it you want to double click a under HTML um, the CSS is just for like making it all look really cool. I'll go over that in a different part. Um, once again, I'm going to make this um, in many different parts because I want to go really slowly. I want to explain this to the best of my abilities. So in the next tutorial, I'll show you other things. Um, so we're under my index.html, and your index is usually your home page. So right here it says home page. Um, and here it says products. So, 
under products you want to click on products and under HTML under properties you'll see a little link you want to take this little circle thing let's move this back and this is well while uh, you need your files open like this you want to drag it to the products HTML and you want to go to products and drag this one to the products HTML make sure you link all your pages or this won't work in this case you do not need to link your products page to your products page but it's a really good habit to get into uh, because if you're under services page and you just don't if it the products won't work if you don't have a link on the service page to products uh, if that's confusing uh, just listen to me don't even doesn't even matter um, and if you see this other file in here it's defaults.css you don't have to worry about that just don't delete it and basically under each uh, page uh, there will be a default CSS now if you're having like codes and like this and you cannot figure out how to get uh, the design what you want to do is just click on the design or split um, this is only helpful if you learn how to program or get some widgets um, you just have to paste things in there and it'll show up um, so you don't even have to worry about that right now you, all you want to do is just customize your website once you're done that save all and we can preview it so um, preview in iExplorer and here is the off limits let's click on products and they're changed to high um, now what you always want to do is always change this one to home page so index so now when we prove it preview it yes want to save make sure that you save between preview it'll go there and you can switch back and forth back and forth and you want to make that for all your pages um, so now if you got that far without getting confused or without falling apart or completely going crazy uh, you want to go to my next part of my tutorial of how to actually put this on a website for free um, so that will be my next tutorial so hope you check that out make sure you do because as you might know uh, just having HTML is completely useless and by the way don't get any crazy ideas of putting this in the link this is not your link this is a link to your files on your computer if you do not know that so if you type this in a, on a different computer this your website will not show up you need to actually put it on a server and I will show you how to do that in the next tutorial for absolutely free so um, go to my next tutorial or wait for your download to finish either one bye